Do electric fields transport electrons? An electric field does not directly transmit electrons. An electric field is a force that acts on charges and represents the region where charges can experience a change in position or motion. While an electric field can exert a force on charges and cause them to move, it does not directly transmit electrons. The term electric field is commonly used in relation to charges. Charges refer to electric particles such as electrons or protons. An electric field represents the interaction with charges and signifies the region where forces can affect the position or motion of charges. This electric field can interact with electric particles and facilitate the movement of charges, but it does not directly transmit electrons. Electrons move through wires, but is the force that causes them to move is the electric field? Yes, that's correct. Electrons move through a wire due to the electric field. The electric field is a force that acts on charges and represents the region where charges can experience a change in position or motion. When current flows through a wire, it is the electric field that exerts a force on the electrons, causing them to move along the wire. The mechanism by which the electric field moves electrons can be explained as follows. When an electric field is present within a wire, the electrons experience a force due to the electric field. This force provides the electrons with a form of kinetic energy, allowing them to move within the wire. As the electrons move along the electric field, they carry electrical energy through the wire, transporting electrical energy via the power lines. So, is magnetism or spin caused by a magnetic field? Yes, that's correct. In the presence of a magnetic field, magnetism or spin can occur. When electrons or charges move, a magnetic field is generated in their surroundings. This magnetic field is created by the movement of charged particles with their associated kinetic energy, hence it is often referred to as a field generated by charges. Additionally, certain materials such as magnets or current carrying wires can create magnetic fields. These magnetic fields arise from the spin or magnetic moments of electrons within atoms or the nucleus itself. Therefore, in the presence of a magnetic field, magnetism or spin can occur, and this phenomenon is utilized in various applications in different fields. Oh! Then gravitational waves or gravity are generated by the gravitational field? Yes, that's correct. Gravity waves can be generated by the gravitational field. Theoretically predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity, gravity waves are the propagation of gravitational fields in the form of waves. Gravity waves can occur when two masses orbit or merge with each other. As these masses move, gravitational fields are generated in their surroundings, and the variations in these gravitational fields propagate as waves, giving rise to gravity waves. Gravity waves are different from electromagnetic waves as they are waves generated by the gravitational field, not the electromagnetic field. Therefore, they have different characteristics and properties compared to electromagnetic waves, 